Welcome to episode four of Uh there isn't a name, but I guess we can um call it the Lego Review Show. I don't know, we don't have a name for it yet, but we're just gonna be doing Lego reviews, like I said in our first other episodes. So today we have a two thousand nine release in the Pirates theme. And it is called Soldier's Fort. And truly, if it's a Soldier's Fort, it's pretty skimpy. I mean, I like the set, but if you want to make it like a real fort, you're going to need like four of these. Like, you put another one here, and then it curves, and you like just make like a whole like square. And you only get two regular soldiers, like privates. And you get a lieutenant and a general. Or a governor, and a governor, so, truly, you don't really have enough soldiers to man the fort, because you usually don't want your lieutenant looking at it. your lieutenant should be, like, sleeping in, like, in his, like, room writing letters or something, so, same as the general, he shouldn't be watching out for enemies, so I think if you had four imperial soldiers, and you didn't even, and, like, you didn't even have the governor, because it shows, like, in these little things, there's, like, little, like, comics in them, like, if you go to, like, page here, then it shows, like, the comics, and, like, it makes it look, like, so big, like, the actual fort, but it's not close. And then in here, in the very end, it shows the governor shooting, and truly, the governor has all these weapons and stuff, but he never actually uses them. Like, the real guys who are, like, leading the soldiers and the men are, like, those guys, so maybe you should have... If it was up to me, I would make a lieutenant and four troops and a Blackbeard, Blackbeard, and maybe another pirate company, Blackbeard, to go see that one, because, like I said, usually the head guys aren't really out there because they're too vulnerable. So, in this set, set we get two instruction manuals, and one is um, 50, uh, 47 pages, and the other one is... 31 pages. And, um, as you can see here, there's, like, a thing that holds the treasure up, a crane, and I just think that's plain stupid. Like, why would somebody have their treasure hanging in the middle of nowhere? Like, I could say there's a crane, but, like, I, like, there should be, like, there might be a chest full of treasure, but, like, you wouldn't want it just hanging in the middle of the air. That would be kind of dumb. So, so, I just took that off, and plus, it didn't really work that well. So, I just popped that off and made it a little guard tower, which I think works better. And, if you had, like, some stairs that, like, came up or something, that would make it look more realistic, because, well, apparently in the 1600s, you guys went, boom! I just jumped up there. So, oh no, my little lieutenant thing. Oh. Okay, that sucks. Give me a second. He's in the ER. It's not fitting. Yay! All right, and you see, he got out of the hospital. Okay. And um, my brothers are two and three, so they happen to take. Um, actually, I never actually broke that. They did, and they're not gonna get about the victim work. So that guy really. He comes with a pirate hat, but I just gave him a black bandana because they took it. And he comes with dynamite, which I don't think dynamite was around until the Wild West. So that's a little inaccurate if you want to be like a oh, history geek. Like my history teacher, Miss Moore. Anyways, um, that's a pirate flag, which I don't really think, it's not tall enough. Like, I, it would be cool if it was, like, that tall. And if, like, like I said, the captain shouldn't be having a ro row. Because he only has one hand, you know. And that sword in there, it didn't actually come with the set. Um, but I added it because he, the pirate captain's going to get need something to give to his um, little friend in there and when he gets there. So let's get on to the actual minifigs. You've got Captain Brickbeard, which is very, very cool. And you can see he's got like the uh, 16, 1700 style suit, and that printing, and he's got 
Pop it off. Ugh. When I popped it off, so did this head. Okay. And I got it off, and there he is. You can kind of see he's got the little eye patch and stuff. And then if you take this off, you can see he's got little gold dinks on his arms. So. Yeah, but then again, the general has red, so that's kind of inaccurate. Like, he would probably have gold, but I'm going to stop being a history nerd. Alright, so there's his peg leg, which I did some research, and as far as I could tell, there's only been one um, peg leg that was not pirates, and that was Professor Moody in a 2004 set, Harry Potter. And if you don't remember Professor Moody, he's a... Uh, the guy who uh, took all the posts and juice and all that. So I'm not going to spoil that for you. But there's your boat. It's a pretty nice boat. It's pretty easy to make if you have a boat piece. It's the Morse. You just have a barrel, dynamite, flag. So let's get on to the feet of the set. You've got oh, the rest of them in here, at least. I know I'm, this is going to be a long review. I might have to make it a two, two part. Alright, so you got, um, this guy actually didn't come off a rifle. The, um, that guy does, but, um, I don't think it's right for a captain to use a rifle, he should, so I made my, he use a sword or something, so I made my two, they say they're Imperials, but I think they're British, <laughs> um, so he's got the British thing on there, white pants, British Marine, he popped off his hat, looks just like the, uh, um, some of the soldiers back then wore these tall hats for, like, protection, so, saber guys and horses couldn't kill them, so that's a little, it's got a little red thing and a little logo. It's basically just pure gold. And this guy's got the black eyes and the black.